In this week's morning rounds, a look at the future of medicine, and that includes some incredible new therapies that make use of our own living cells. These cutting edge medical topics and more are the focus of the new book, Cells Are the New Cure. And we are joined by co-author and medical correspondent for our New York station, WCBS, Dr. Max Gomez. Doc, good morning. Good morning. So let's first start with stem cells. I think some people have a passing familiarity with them, but what I think most folks don't know is they're different kinds. Exactly. Right? There's a lot of confusion. The ones that most people are know about are embryonic stem cells, and they're the ones that have some moral and ethical uh, baggage associated, because usually in order to use them, you've got to destroy an embryo. So that's what people have a problem with, of course. But we also have adult stem cells. We've got stem cells probably in every tissue in our body that we found. Brain, heart, muscle, even fat. Fat has a lot of stem mm, cells. Well, that's right good now. to know, something uh, for useful for and, fat. That's right, and then there's, there's what we call iPS cells, where you can take some adult cells, usually from the skin, do a little genetic manipulation and turn them into things that look like embryonic stem cells. So you really don't need to go to embryonic to do a lot of the things that we can do with stem mm. cells. Another hot, hot topic is in the field of gene editing, and you go into detail on, on one of the tools called CRISPR. Mm -hmm. What is this exactly? CRISPR is really exciting because it's a much more accurate and efficient way of editing DNA, the genome. If you've got a, a mutation, a bad gene in there, mm -hmm. you can go in, snip that out, and then insert the right copy of the uh, uh, a corrected gene, if you will. But the problem, of course, is you don't know exactly what that's going to do. Yeah. You know, genes often have a lot of different effects, and you can get different effects that, you're, that are unintended. Well, and that raises a host of ethical concerns, too, mm -hmm. because once that gene is edited, it is passed on through the generations. Right. If you do that in what, they, what we call germ cell lines, meaning eggs or sperm, those get passed on, and now it's a permanent change. Everybody down for the human race for the human race, or everybody in that particular, you right. know, from that particular person, has that problem. You can get these what we call off-target effects because genes often have not just one effect, but they have multiple ones. Or you've edited other genes that you didn't need to edit, so you're not really sure. So there's a lot of potential problems with that. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's the issue of can we use gene editing CRISPR to do things like well, we want a blue-eyed, blonde baby right. or right. big, you know, seven-foot-tall, so they'll be in the NBA sure. or something like that. We don't really know how to do that yet, but, you know, that's, that's potentially well, down just, the road. Well, just last month, though, Max, the FDA approved a cell-based gene therapy. It's just the second time they've done that. How big a deal is this? This is really huge. It is potentially a cure, the C word that doctors don't like to use very often, for a couple of cancers. This was for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's been done for leukemia. Yeah. You take... It's called CAR T cells. You take your own immune cells, do a little genetic manipulation with it, and then put those back in. Now the, those immune cells know how to recognize the cancer cells, and they go after the cancer cells and kill them off. Well, and immunotherapy seems to be the forefront here. It just, oh, it's we're huge. at the tip of the iceberg, as it were, right? Absolutely. Immunotherapy is really the hottest area in cancer therapy right now, and it's all versions of using your own cells. We can take use drugs to take the brakes off the immune system. We can use drugs to strip the Harry Potter cloak of invisibility off of <laughs> cancer so that the immune system can recognize it. And then we can take these cells, the immune cells, manipulate them so they know how to recognize cancer and go after the cancer cells. We're just at the tip of the iceberg with that, but it's really exciting. It is exciting stuff. The Full book, of many questions. The book is Cells Are the New Cure. Dr. Max Gomez, thanks for being with us Thank this you. morning. Thanks, Doc.